Denise here from Sue's Art and I have a three day weekend going on right now and so um, I just got some new stuff um, in the mail today. Uh, they are Castle Art uh, watercolor pencils and this really cool watercolor paper from Italy. Um, it's, it's your basic, it's 25% cotton, cold pressed, 140 pounds and um, I want to give it, I want to try it out. I want to see what's going on with this stuff. Um, so today what I'm going to do is just a simple scribble. I already kind of started. You can't even see what it is. <laughs> and uh, so the prism, the premium colors, they come in 72 different colors. And uh, so they each have a, a little packet of their own. Um, and I, I pulled the, the two that I would the two packages I would be using for this uh, thingy. Uh, anyway, so there's another packet under these. It's not easy getting them out, but um, uh, uh, you can do it. Yes, you can. Yeah. So. So there's a lot of colors. You got these beautiful colors. These um, I'm using these primarily, so they're on top, and I'm using these primarily, so they're off the side. Also, I'm using uh, brushes with uh, uh, water water in them and an eraser. And what I did discover, what I really really like about this was because normally I would do my um, I don't know if you can see what's going on there, but uh, yeah, no, you can't. It's it's like a droopy sunflower kind of thing. I'm just I want to see how these things work. So I kind of just um, what I found was with these watercolor pencils, I can erase. Yeah. So I don't have to use pencils. I can actually use the watercolors to do my 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 drawing with, and uh, so on and so forth. So um, uh, on these that you see, I have a little color on them. I'm going to bring you down a little bit. Yeah. Right, just, just see what's going on. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take um, a darker orange color. Mm. Oh, I like a you. This one. And uh, I'm just going to Kind of go in here like this, a little bit, just a little, and um, what what got me interested in watercolor pencils was um, uh, ancient watercolor pencils that I used, and they don't even make those anymore. But um, they were from 1986 ish 87 88 ish let's do those um and they're amazing I'll show you them uh, them but um they were really old and they totally got me psyched for this because once you put your color down then you can mess with it and I am loving these colors yes yes I am so uh, what did I spend on these? I'm thinking. I think it was twelve dollars. So that's like okay, no, twenty nine dollars. So you get seventy two colors for twenty nine dollars. That's a pretty good deal. I actually, because I just got my first paycheck from work, I bought two. 
because I, I know that there are colors I'm going to run out of really quickly. I love those deep greens and stuff. And I just, I knew I was going to run out of those colors. <laughs> so this is working really, really well. Um, yeah, you can take them. Well, nice. Oh wow, I really, really like this. So this is a castle. It's so good. Light to dark, dark to light, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's doing all the work for me, really, you know. Um, oh, this is really good. Alright, and this paper, so far, is holding up really, really well. I'm not seeing a warping on it. Um, I, I like the, the cotton content in here. Because uh, that acts like a spongy kind of thing. And also what I really like about this type of watercolor painting as opposed to wet on wet um, is I've already created the wet, right? So I'm going down through here and let me give you an example. Here's my wet on wet without having to wet the whole thing. Um, I'm going to take a darker color. This one. And I'm going into a wet area here, right? It's already wet. And there's where I get my wet on wet without warping the whole entire page, right? That's so cool. So cool. Huh. Alright, so let's just say I got this thing going on here. Um, uh, there are some colors missing. And uh, put that in right now. Uh, boop. <laughs> it's really cool. That's what I love about this. You just put it in there. And then you bring it to life, right? With your water. Whatever. Ew. So I want to pull some of this dark out and bring it right there. That's so cool. Yeah, this is a, um, this is really good, guys. I would definitely recommend this. Um, they do not sponsor, and I don't care, because I'm just trying them out for the first time myself right now, in front of you, and, um, I'm really happy with it. Um, I do need to clean my brush. Squirt, squirt. Squirt. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Very nice. my job again um going really well uh in this one here we're going to combine two colors so plantar fa fasciitis is really really bad went to the doctor um he sent me for multiple uh multiple x-rays like six x-rays on each foot ankle ankle foot foot each one had three 
each ankle had three, foot had three, and um, I just got the results back today, and I went yesterday, which was, today's Saturday, so I went yesterday, which was Friday, and um, so it's an older doctor. I, the first time I've seen him, I mean, it, I'm at a, at a family practice, and apparently they've got these doctors that just come in and out from everywhere. <laughs> and so this was an older man, and he was so sure I had gout or arthritis or something. He was wrong. All the tests came back negative, and I knew it. I, I tried to explain to him, look, dude, I have plantar fasciitis. That's what I have. It's plantar fasciitis. Um, you know, I need a good steroid to reduce the inflammation because my legs are all swollen. You could put like a, a finger, it's like dough, like this right here. You could like squeeze into my leg like that and it would leave this divot. It's just disgusting. And you know, <laughs> when I went for my blood work, the lady was like, oh, your legs are a little swollen. I went, yeah, is that dangerous? <laughs> and she's like, no, not so much, as long as it's in both legs. I was like, oh, good. <laughs> it's, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So I'm, I'm wearing support hose. Screw them. <laughs> oh, that kind of took care of it. But then there's this medicine, right? There's this medicine that I could take that literally reduces the inflammation and reduces all the... Oh, that's pretty good. I'm liking this water color. It reduces all that stuff, right? But my pharmacy hasn't been able to get it since uh, last year. So um, there you go. Let's do some green just to see what that's going to Because I'll do the rest of this myself. Let's, let's, let's try some of these green colors here and see what we can do. So um, pretty much what they were saying was... Uh, that they're not going to be able to help me. <laughs> right. Right. Not helping you. Not today. Not today. Today you might get help. Maybe tomorrow. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Um. So I looked the chemical up. It's dinaphylax sodium. And it has a brand name attached to it. It's called um, Vetrolin. Vetrolin is the, the brand name. And so I was looking for a topical, uh, you know, something I could rub on. You know, because I don't want to be taking all this stuff on top of the ibuprofen and all that stuff. And uh, so I found a topical agent. And um, it's... Uh, we need a little more water in there. Are we out of water? Here we go. Um, for a quarter of an ounce at the pharmacist, it's $81. That's a quarter of an ounce, people. One quarter of an ounce. One quarter of an ounce. For $81. So I started to look for alternatives. You know, you be a smart shopper. <laughs> oh, I found alternatives, all right. On Chewy.com. That's right. Chewy. <laughs> Chewy.com had my alternatives. That's right. <laughs> so this is a little wet on wet. And what I ended up getting, now I went through the, <laughs> they have the, the, the high, the expensive uh, Vetrolin cream uh, for horses 
um, very uh, 12 ounces for eleven dollars <laughs> that's right our horses definitely get the benefit of uh, So I bought some. I bought two of them. I ordered them yesterday and they came in today. That's crazy. And I rubbed that up on my feet. And oh my gosh. What a relief. <laughs> it was amazing. It was instant. Instant relief. It was... Uh, amazing and because I have two what I can do is put one in my locker at work and then when I go on break I can rub that on my feeties <laughs> so this watercolor pencils I like them a lot I think uh, I should have gone a light press though for my leaf outlines because I would want to change these, <laughs> but I went a little hard on them. Unlike these, I went really light. I'm going to take some of this green in there. But so this watercolor, yeah, I should have gone really light because I have strong lines really strong lines up in here but I can wait till this dries and then um, erase 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 but I like it I think um yeah this is really good The paper is holding up really well, guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Uh, hasn't warped or done anything weird. I'm quite happy with that. Um, so I'm not going to do any more. I just wanted to show you um, this product. And uh, this is really wet, so I don't want to show you how it erases. But uh, I don't know if you can see this line right here. Okay, that's a watercolor line, and um, I can show you how we can erase that. So, you can do your sketch with watercolor and erase, 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 erase what you don't want on there. Woo! Nice! <laughs> and before I let you go, I want to show you guys what I've been, I bought to study with, because I'm really into all this plant stuff lately and uh, it's going to transfer into my alcohol ink project which is my huge forest um i'll show you i got this book on trees so not only do i get to learn the whole history of the trees but i get to to learn about their root systems and their leaves and all that good stuff. She's down. <laughs> she went flying. And then the botanical series, which is the mushrooms, the seeds. All that good stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is how I learn, you know. Uh, so, uh, and they're hardcover books. They're awesome. And the artist is a phenomenal. Um, all right. So this is Denise from Susart coming to you from Jacksonville, Florida, where it looks like the only thing that's going to really suffer is Mara Largo. Hi. Uh, please make sure everybody has left the area and let the building go down. <laughs>
all the rest of us were just kind of waited out with some high winds and rain. Um, I love you guys a lot. Uh, we have this this evening we have tested uh, Studio Watercolors, which is a, a Fabrino Fabrano from uh, Studio Watercolor. It's made in Italy. Um, it's cold pressed. It's got 25% cotton. It's amazing, apparently. Um, I am totally impressed with its quality. And we also used um, Castle Art watercolor pencils, which I am very impressed with. Very, very, very impressed with. And I look forward to finishing this little doodly doo. <laughs> So, love you guys. Ciao, Bella. See you soon.